At least one local member of the Virginia Legislative Black Caucus is speaking out about what the lieutenant governor said and addressing the crisis at the Capitol. Delegate Jay Jones of Norfolk is the youngest black lawmaker in Virginia. Tonight he's going one on one with Jacqueline Lee. It's a story you'll see only on 13 News Now. Norfolk Delegate Jay Jones says he's still processing comments made by Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax comparing two sexual assault allegations to a Jim Crow era lynching. But do you believe that it's a bridge too far to make that comparison? I think uh, Lieutenant Governor Fairfax is speaking from his heart and speaking for himself. Hopefully due process will, will run its course and, and uh, we can find a resolution to that situation. Those allegations were just part of a chaotic 2019 session. Revelations of blackface, which embroiled Governor Ralph Northam and Attorney General Mark Herring, pointed to a painful history for Jones and other black Americans. Emotions turn into pain and anger and anguish and angst and uh, I think Every black Virginian and every you know, black person in this country who is aware of what's going on uh, has a different process to, to handle it. Jones' process came in the form of a passionate floor speech where he recalled the racism he and his family endured for generations. What brought you to that moment? Certainly a journey that I have walked over the last 30 years and that my parents and grandparents and ancestors have, have walked as well and I thought that it was something that folks needed to know. The pain of mockery towards black Americans is something that sticks with Jones, recalling in his speech a childhood memory where the spouse of a lawmaker told her child not to play with him because he's black. I think it was really important for uh, the people in the General Assembly and people around Virginia who were watching or listening uh, to know that racism and, and these struggles did not stop with uh, the civil rights movement and you know the 60s and 70s. Jones says while racism is something that still pervades today, he's hopeful understanding that uh, we all have our differences, but we need to make sure that we are walking together uh, to move Virginia forward. So Jacqueline, how did Jay Jones describe the, the atmosphere and the energy at the state capitol? Well, David, today was the last day of session. As they wrapped up, he said lawmakers were very excited about all of the work they were able to accomplish during the last 47 days. So now they will all return back to their districts and rest up for the November elections. All right, Jacqueline, thanks so much.